Today, in light of Russia's reckless and dangerous military strike, we are imposing further severe sanctions. These sanctions will target 58 individuals and entities, including members of the Russian elite and their family members, as well as the Wagner Group and major Russian banks, among others. We will also sanction members of the Russian Security Council, including the Defense Minister, the Finance Minister, and the Justice Minister. In addition, Effectively, immediately, effective immediately, we are ceasing all export permits for Russia and cancelling existing permits. These sanctions are wide-reaching. They will impose severe costs on complicit Russian elites, and they will limit President Putin's ability to continue funding this unjustified invasion. For Canadians and permanent residents in Ukraine, your safety and security are now our top priority. We also want to make sure that you can get to safety. We've arranged for safe passage for you and your families at the land borders with Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, and Moldova. We are urgently issuing travel documents for affected Canadians, permanent residents, and their immediate family members. We're also prioritizing immigration applications for Ukrainians who want to come to Canada. And to ensure we can serve people as quickly as possible, today we are launching a new dedicated phone line for anyone at home or abroad with urgent Ukraine-related immigration questions. We have also placed 3,400 military personnel across all branches of the service on standby to deploy to the NATO response force should they be required. We cannot allow Putin to redraw maps and to rewrite history to suit his own purposes. We must and we will stand up against these efforts to sow discord, deceit and violence.